North Devon's iconic Linton and Lynmouth Cliff Railway was given a fanfare topless themed reopening on Saturday morning. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling great. Got to do a little hill. <laughs> Louise Butcher ran topless from the picturesque Valley of the Rocks, serenaded by dozens of convertible vehicles. The 50-year-old mother of two was selected as the railway's local hero in recognition of her efforts to raise awareness, reduce the stigma of surgery scars and encourage body positivity in women after surviving lobular breast cancer. How you doing? Good. That hill's a bit of a hill. Today she proudly shows off her scars and has become a marathon runner following a double mastectomy in 2022. I run topless every day as most people in Devon know now um, and it's kind of like really just getting that out there as well with other things joining in and cars so yeah the topless theme's really I think it's catching on I think people are really catching on to the topless theme and just doing it topless what is the message you hope to give people through doing it so the message is, um, well there's quite a few messages, there's the message of the fact that your scars are beautiful, that you don't need to be something you're not, that you can show people what mastectomies and breast cancer are all about without it being traumatic, but also that it's not hidden, so that we can get it out there and people talk about it and let's be open about cancer and breast cancer. About the run this morning, just how did you find it? I mean, it's not exactly the warmest day to date. Well, to be honest, for me, it's quite warm, 12 degrees, because I've been running in the snow and, and in the free... I mean, I ran on Christmas Day, so this is actually quite warm. So, no, I'm not worried about the cold, especially when I'm... More, it was kind of a little bit of a slope, so I got quite hot on that bit. And, of course, we're here to open the Cliff Railway today. How much of an honour is that to be able to be the, the hero of North Devon to come and do that this year? So that's a massive honour, considering the people they've had opened it before. And I'm really thankful to, to them for giving us the opportunity, and especially with the charity that I support, the North Devon District Hospital Charity, because that's obviously why we're here at the end of the day as well. So I'm really thankful to everybody who's, who's got on board this. It's brilliant. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well done. Louise got the wheels on the world famous attraction turning for a new season by inviting visitors to ride the water powered funicular for free in return for a donation to the Royal Devon Hospitals Charity, who raised more than £2,500 on the day. Absolutely fantastic. We are really appreciative of people coming here, giving us donations today towards the Fern Centre at North Devon District Hospital, where we um, treat and, 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 and give complementary therapies to people who have, who have got cancer or had cancer, and also to the extended family as well. We give loads of advice. So all the money has to be raised from uh, public donations. Uh, NHS don't give anything towards it, so it's uh, a really phenomenal thing that we're doing here today at Linton and Lynmouth Cliff Railway, and we're all excited, and thank you to Louise Butcher, who has headed up the run today. I was going to say, today is all about Louise and what she's been up to. What a remarkable story, and certainly putting the charity on the map. She is a really good ambassador for the Royal Devon Hospitals Charity. She is a phenomenal lady and uh, she supports us at all our events because it's always nice to get that personal experience, somebody who's gone through cancer, you know, gone through all the emotions and a really, really inspiring lady like Louise to have her as a charity ambassador is absolutely fantastic for us. The team at the Cliff Railway are pleased to be back after their winter break. Despite not running, they have been busy over the closed season, working to expose and widen the docking pit to show more of the mechanics and workings that had previously been hidden to the public for more than 130 years. In the past few years, they have always had a local hero on board to do the official opening and were thrilled to see the success of this year's special event. Yeah, we, we were hoping that we would get a big sort of car turnout, and we did, well, for the to support Louise's topless theme, actually. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible, and what an amazing place to see it in the Valley of Rocks as well. And just a word of Louise and why she was selected to do the official opening today. Yeah, well, every year we have um, a local hero open the, the Cliff Railway. Um, last year we had um, Jack, 
um, who was supporting money for the uh, Tony Hudgel Foundation. Previous to that, we had Jake Kingdom, the uh, the uh, triathlete with Down syndrome. Previous to that, we had Max, the boy in the tent. So this year, Louise popped up on the radar very early on. We thought what she was doing was incredible. We had to have her along to the Cliff Railway to um, yeah, open us for the new season. And of course, we're opening the Cliff Railway today. What is the hope for the year ahead for yourself as a business? <laughs> <laughs> a nice settled year that would be fantastic and um, yeah we just want to welcome everybody back to the railway again which we're pleased to be open for the new season today um, we're uh, offering free rides to everybody and um, all of that money has been donated to the charity um, but yeah we hope that uh, if people haven't been able to make it along today that they do so for the rest of the season I think it's brilliant by the opening of the Cliff Row I'm hoping it's going to bring more people to the town and fill it all up is what we'd like to see I think it's fabulous and we've got Louise doing her thing this morning. Just how great was that to see? Oh, it was fantastic. I met Louise last week, so it's great to see her here supporting the, being our local hero and getting the Cliff Railway open. It's, I think what she's doing is brilliant. And if you missed out on the cars this time around, you'll be pleased to know that more than 400 vehicles are lining up to return to Lynmouth on June the 8th for the Lynn Valley Classic. In the meantime, the Cliff Railway is back up and running for the new season, so make sure to head along and have fun on the funicular. Lewis Clark, Devon Live, Linton.